escape will soon be complete. What do you mean, complete? You haven't even broken me out of my serve. <laughs> <laughs> then who is this? That's the warden's gerbil, you near savage fish stick. <laughs> Shut up! It's not funny. Security command, release portal 7. you a little surprise. What is it? An Earth souvenir. They call it an An Earth souvenir. They call it an Aloha Lay. It symbolizes... Excellent! I'm starving! Wait, wait! You're not supposed to... <laughs> Never mind. Computer, lock hyperdrive coordinates on... <laughs> Lock all sensors on the fugitive. of my also clever plan creating an army of Leroy clones <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Trust me, alien hunting is going to be fun today. Especially since we have deadly weapons to shoot them down. I've also spotted a UFO heading towards the new mall that is experiencing the grand opening. Meet me at that new mall today 30 minutes from now. I'm glad I met the Myrtle, because it's fun hanging around bright kids these days. See you there. I'm gonna get fired from the military, but who cares? I wasn't liking the job anyways. But I still can't let her get hurt, because I might get arrested. One thousand four hundred and fifty-eight times. So, what's gonna happen to the woman with the flowers? Shh. She's gonna go into a fright in the wheelchair. That is so nice. Oh my God! Shut up! Yeah, Bench is gonna get hit by a bus. That is so sad. Will you keep it down? Maybe you guys should be quieter. You know. If we're gonna let you and your weird dogs hang out with us now, then you really shouldn't tell us what to do. Yeah! Alright, everyone get your butts out of here now. The entire theater exploded. Come on guys, let's get out of here. The 
them all is coming down. Are you sure this is okay? Relax. Lilo and I sneak in here all the time. You what? Just chill out and enjoy your uh, honeymoon, sweetheart. Hello, sir. Ma'am. Are you guests here? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's your room number? 257. Uh, 319. Uh, 257. Uh, 319. 257. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't have a room 319,257. And besides, today is red towel day, not blue. <laughs> Busted. Stitch? No, no, no. Too dangerous. Stitch? Get in the car, Lilo. Officer Ego. What are you doing here? What I'm doing here? I'm taking you to safety because of what happened. Oh. Are you taking me to the station? Yep, and then I'm gonna call your sister to come get you. Okay, but I think it's only fair to warn you. I will definitely try to escape. You should probably put on the siren. Mm-hmm. Buckle up, please. Don't think these bonds can hold me. I know my rights! I demand a lawyer! Good morning, Agent Jones. I need to talk to you for a moment. Hello, Agent Bill. What do you want this very day? Oh boy, are you mad that I told your girlfriend you ditched her? I'm not mad at you. Wait. What? Just talk to me about the mayhem at the mall and forget all about it. You better not have. Okay, I will. And how did you know what I was going to talk about? You know what, whatever. I need to talk to the other agents. Not just you, but we. We'll talk after the meeting. I'll forget about it for a short period of time, and then I'm back on the subject. Anyway. Stitch, a blue to that looks just like this. Destroyed them all and he went into one of the stores. A few seconds later, an explosion occurred from the exact same store Stitch went inside. Then, several seconds later, he ran out with a weapon in his hand. Then the mall continues to collapse. Due to that fire spreading to other areas across the mall and some very flammable materials. Look, I'll show you the footage of what happened. Sadly, the camera is in the store stitch was and wasn't working, so the footage in the store doesn't exist. But we don't necessarily need it, since it's clearly proven that Stitch is guilty of terrorism. Wow. One, poor mall. It was built like two weeks ago and the grand opening wasn't too long ago. Two, are you sh after watching the full footage and hearing your words I totally agree with you. Do you know anything about this dude? No, I don't. So our job right now is to terminate. Stitch ASAP. You never know how much damage and chaos he has planned. Don't you think we should find more evidence that he did it instead of immediately coming up with theories? It's no longer necessary. He's proven guilty. Now when I say go now, each and every one of you guys do your duty. Go now and do your job. Okay. Agent Jones, go now. You better get out there right now. You said go now with those extra words. You said if you say go now I go. Did I say if I said extra words don't go? Go now. Okay okay, don't have to be so harsh. Man, this agent can sure go crazy with some stuff sometimes. Hey Agent Jones, do, do, Jones, do. You actually think Stitch destroyed them all? Yeah I do. But I still think he should find more evidence before he begins the operation to terminate Stitch before he causes more chaos. I honestly don't believe it myself. And I agree 
I don't think we have enough evidence that he did it. You know, Agent Jones, I noticed something very strange today. Bill is here in Hawaii. Making all these theories that Stitch caused a mall's fate to occur. I thought Bill went to Nebraska to visit his family for the summer. He left two days ago. Why would he be back here so fast? You know what? Forget it. It doesn't really matter right now. I agree, Dexter. I know, right? Agent Bill is a smart man. It's not like him to come up with a cause of the mall's fate that we're not even sure is true. I also don't know why he would leave Hawaii for the summer. Then two days later, he returns, acting like he's the guy who knows everything. Mr. All-Knowing. Or Mr. Knowledge. But I'm going to get lunch and then get started on this mission. Everyone in Hawaii thinks that Stitch, this blue alien, destroyed the mall. And I honestly agree myself. Stitch destroyed the mall. And I honestly agree myself. Stitch destroyed the mall. Stitch destroyed the mall. Stitch destroyed the mall. Stitch destroyed the mall. Nani. Nani. Uh, yeah. Well. Nani. Nani. Uh, yeah. Look. What are you watching? This is the Emergency News Network. We have breaking news. The mall that was open today in Kauai has collapsed in a crazy violent way that killed over 150 people. We got reports from people who escaped alive, saying that this was no accident. Apparently, people have discovered a barrel of gasoline in every store in the mall including the movie theater. That's how the mall collapsed. It ultimately was caused by a kitchen explosion. Agent Bill, a member of the Hawaiian agency, CIA, and he told us that this blue alien, known as Stitch, was the cause of the mall collapsing. The Hawaiian government agrees with him and declared today two hours after the mall's fate, that Stitch, will be terminated. A member of the Hawaiian agency, CIA, and he told us that this blue alien, known as Stitch, was the cause of them all collapsing. The Hawaiian government agrees with him and declared today two hours after the mall's fate, that Stitch, will be terminated. Stitch? My name is Dr. Hamstervale, and I gathered you all here to turn every single one of you bad. You suck. Then, you all this will help me to destroy Hawaii and everyone in Hawaii. I'm no longer allowing those Hawaiian morons getting away with thwarting my conspiracies. Captain Gantu has freed me from jail, so we can do this evil conspiracy.
Now, be prepared for some pain, because this may hurt a bit. Alright Gantu, thank you for coming in. I want you to give all the 625 experiments a tour around my ship while I begin the operation to destroy Hawaii. Sounds good. Thank you. Lilo. <laughs> Baby, what's wrong? Stitch left. Really? It's good he's gone. He didn't want to be here anyway. We don't need him. Nilo. Sometimes you try your hardest. Even if... FBI, open up! Wrong number! <laughs> How are you? Sleepy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lemonade? I'm here to take Lilo away. <gasps> Do you often leave your sister home alone? No, never. Oh! Well, except for just now. Uh, I had to run to the store to get some. <laughs> oh! Let me illuminate to you the precarious situation in which you have found yourself. I am the one they call when things go wrong. And things have indeed gone wrong. Stitch destroyed them all yesterday. That's why I'm here. Nanny, I saw a UFO in the sky. You what? You need to see this. But we gotta hurry! Oh, um, okay. Lilo, baby, this is really important. I need you to stay here for a few minutes. I'm gonna be right back. Lock the door and don't answer it for anyone, okay? <laughs> Don't run. Don't make me shoot you. You destroy the mall. Me? Yes. Yes, that's it. Come quietly. Family. You don't have one. I could. You're built to destroy. You can never belong. Now come quietly, and we will take you apart. No, 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 don't, don't run! Don't run! I...
<laughs> Stitch? <laughs> what is it? Shh. Oh, uh, hiding behind your little friend won't work anymore. <laughs> your rules. Stay safe, because that UFO I saw a few minutes ago might be assigned to something. Oh, don't turn left. Donnie, we need to get out of here. The UFO you saw is actually part of a group of aliens that are gonna attack Hawaii. What? Forgot Lilo. What? What? Suck you all, I'm here to help you both. Hey, put us down for a minute. It's an emergency. Sorry, can't do that. It's too dangerous.
Agent Bill, you won't believe what's going on right now. An alien attack is going on right now. Well, wait a minute, what if Stitch is part of this alien attack? That really explains why he destroyed them all in few days ago. Hey, what's up with your voice, Bill? Agent Jones, did I say you were allowed to comment on my voice? So I guess we're treating Stitch like we're gonna treat the aliens. Hey Agent Jones, have you noticed Agent Bill lately? He's been acting really strange. This is not like him. He's now gonna try to terminate Stitch. Guys, we're still not even sure. He even destroyed them all. We need to talk to him about it. Something is not right here. There's something up with Agent Bill. And I don't like it. He's not acting normal. Ever. Since he got back, he's been acting very weird about it. I know, right? Agent Bill is a smart man. It's not like him to come up with a cause of the mall's fate that we're not even sure is true. I also don't know why he would leave Hawaii for the summer. Then two days later, he returns, acting like he's the guy who knows everything. I don't have a good feeling about this. Something's wrong. Stitch, we saved you. Come with us please. Wait, the agents are after you. Come back. It's getting dark, where is some shelter? Hey, you two. You're going to have to come with us. Uh-oh, are we in trouble? No, not at all. It's for safety. Reasons. I think we'll be fine. I think it would be better if you get your bud to the car now. had to take him to safety, just like we are doing to you right now, because we are required for one. Two, why wouldn't we protect someone like him? Now, as you both may know, aliens from space are attacking our state right now. Yeah, we know. We barely escaped the collapse in Cal I. You were there. Wow. But, trust me, it's going to get worse. Are you sure about that? Can you tell me your name? I'm Rick Harrison, and this is my pawn shop. Bruh. I'm Lilo, and that's Stitch. Hey Ryan, me and Chase found a little girl and some blue dude. This blue dude looks like an alien. Should we terminate him? Man, Kevin, you really are stupid. Of course we should terminate him. 
He may look and sound harmless, but they always end up deceiving us. It always happens in the movies. Okay. Is it? Not all the time, and those are movies, not reality. While I do agree with you, we should give him a chance. No, he looks harmless. Okay, don't terminate him. He's on our side. First time Kevin actually uses his brain. But I still don't like him. He looks freaky. Trust me. I know. I'm freaky. You're different. You're one of a kind. Like Frankenstein. Oh. <laughs> Stitch, I should have asked you this when we saw the news this morning. What really happened at the mall? I know that you're good. I know you don't want to hurt us. Just like I don't want to hurt you. Me? Oh. Ryan, I need to talk to you for a minute. Do you know where this little girl's parents are? No, I don't. Is she lost? Did she lose her parents? I'm not sure, I don't know anything about this girl. Do you? Heck no. For some reason, I don't feel comfortable having her here during this dark time. Well, we can't just tell her to leave when she either lost her parents or she's lost herself, especially with everything else going on. You know, when letting Stitch into the base yesterday, I told everyone he looks harmless and he's on our side. The reason I said that is because, just like most of the members of the military, I don't believe Stitch Dees tour by the mall because of the evidence Agent Bill has. Look Ryan, I'm sure it will be fine. Just make sure she doesn't get hurt. It seems like most members of the Schofield Barracks don't believe Stitch destroyed the mall. Some say because he looks harmless. Some say because of the evidence from the security footage. To those people, believe all you want. But you'll see the truth eventually. Now that we're the only ones in here, I'm going to tell you what's happening. 1. The agents that told the Hawaiian government that Stitch destroyed the mall are still after you, Stitch. Agent Bill is the most determined to seize you. I'm not sure where they are, but Kevin knows for a fact that they are on this island additionally i heard about the 625 aliens because i've seen them in kawaii last week you should know that these aliens are evil they're the 625 experiments stitches cousins experiments aliens cousins they're evil now because just this morning i've seen them killing humans I'm going to explain what's gonna happen to the 625 experiments. Because they are evil, we'll have to treat them like we are gonna treat the aliens. What? You can't destroy the experiments! They're Ohana! Cousins! And each one of them has a place where they belong. Just like Sparky belongs at the lighthouse. And Stitch belongs with me. Oh. How? In fact, I'm starting to think we're all cousins. Even me and you. Why do I feel disgusted right now? We are getting those experiments back. Hmm. Look you guys, I understand. FBI, open up! 
guys, I think it's Agent Jones. You Lolo and Stitch, get ready to run out the back. What? Okay, I'll answer it. Open up. We're here to find Stitch and that little girl he kidnapped. Open the door now. Open or I'll arrest you. Now. I have a gun. I'm serious I will shoot you if you don't open. The door. Who is it? We are the FBI and I demand you to open this freaking door or I'll open it for. You. What's the password? Listen to me. I don't have time for your crap. Open this door right now. Nope. Really huh? Ryan we're coming in anyway. Wrong. Dude, I'm serious. Stop it. Wrong again. Man you're really bad at this. Really huh? Ryan we're coming in anyway. Hold on a second. It's Agent Bill. You guys should sneak out the back. Stitch is a killer and we are taking extra precautions. If he's here, you guys are in danger. And I'm going to tell you something my friends I don't have time for your excuses and we are coming in right now. Quiet or I'll arrest you. Hey, did any of you guys hear that boom sound? No, I didn't. I swear I heard something. Everyone, I heard an explosion. We're under attack. I'm dead. Oh no, they escaped. They're gonna be killed out there. Nice going aliens.
already know what happened. They have sailors in the water. They know it's already know it's a shark. It's a shark and it ain't friendly. It looks like a dolphin. Tricky fish. Tricky fish. Oh, I can come and help me. But oh, no, I can't. The fuss is worse than the shark. I hate this planet. <laughs> Monster, no! We do it my way! You, eh? Don't... Uh, wait! David, I looked everywhere. Have you heard anything? Nanny, I'm too busy watching TV, so no. David, don't think we picked you up from Kawai just to let you watch TV during this crisis, because that's not the reason. Anyways, I didn't see Lilo, nor Slitch anywhere. They could be anywhere. Well, we might as well just watch the news to see what's going on right now. This is the Emergency News Network. We have breaking news. So, as some of you all know, aliens from space have attacked Hawaii, and caused massive chaos, as well as many deaths to occur. The aliens are beginning to spread around Hawaii. A lot of has happened, Kauai collapsed into the ocean. The Schofield Barracks military base got attacked. Most of the area was completely wiped out, as well as many other military men fighting in the attack. Everything else was aliens just shooting down buildings causing more chaos to occur, people dying in horrible ways, extreme destruction occurring, and people doing anything they can to survive this heck of a nightmare. What the military is really worried about, is that the aliens are more likely to win the war, as they have caused an entire island to collapse, as well as cause major destruction across Oahu and bombing almost the entire military. While Kau and Oahu were the only islands that got attacked during this time, aliens may become more powerful at times, and could completely destroy Hawaii in a day or two. In addition, Oahu is now on a risk of collapsing into the ocean. Most of the body structure of the island is damaged. Because Oahu is a large island, it may take a while for the island to collapse. Gosh, this is really scary considering the fact that these aliens are strong and super powerful. I bet John C. I wouldn't be able to destroy these aliens without receiving a single injury. Because all airports across Hawaii were shut down due to this alien attack, evacuating an island in Hawaii is not possible no more. Underground shelters are no longer safe since Kauai collapsed into the ocean. This is a very dangerous situation. Oahu has experienced massive chaos and destruction occurring. We have several pictures of what Oahu looks like right now. Including cities, towns, neighborhoods, and other areas. As you can see, damaged buildings are leaning and some are touching each other. Lots of buildings are destroyed, and debris and all over the ground. There are even some country areas in Oahu, like this area, have fallen into the coast water. Many pieces of land have fell into either the coast water or the Hey, river. I saw Lilo and Stitch in the picture where the city was sinking. Nani, the pictures on the news are from Oahu, and Oahu is on the risk of collapsing into the ocean. Everyone, back on the plane. Now. Stay tuned to the... This looks promising. Hmm? Oh, Shata! Don't lose them! I'll find something to catch you with. Make it not a twister!
Alan. He's got your style. Come on. We've got 625 cousins to find. 623. Did you just correct me? Are you sure about that? Atsubaba! Aloha, friends! We've got you cornered, cousin! Really? I think 
because us got the drop on you, cuz. Well, hello there, blue boy. Hmm? One of Jumbas, huh? Hi, I'm Lilo, and this is Stitch. He's your cousin. This is how it works. I turn you from bad to good and find the one place where you belong. So you don't end up with Gantu. What do you know about Gantu? We know everything about him. He's a head, and he tries to get our experiments. But he's really fat. So even when he catches them and takes them back to his ship, we can usually rescue him. You've broken into his ship? Sure. Lots of times. No kidding. Hey, I'm being rude. Come in, come in. I'm 349, and he's 350. Welcome to our domicile. What are you doing? You're showing them our hideout. I don't think... How many times I gotta tell you? Shut up! This place is a mess. I bet your evil queen, I mean, big sister, grounds you all the time. Nah, we're free agents. Nobody tells us what to do. Wow! That's awesome! Well... <sighs> Gotta get back to work. Guess you guys better hit the road. But we like it here. Sorry. We can't leave you alone here. Too dangerous. And we couldn't possibly bring you along. Why not? Uh, you don't want to hang out with us. We're just going out to have fun, be free. Steal stuff. <gasps> All part of doing whatever we want, whenever we want. I mean, if that appeals to you, I, I guess you could come with. Well, if we collect the rest of the experiments along the way to stop the aliens, we'll come. If nobody gets hurt. Course not. Just having fun. We really taking them with us? Listen, I know Stitch's situation and it would be worth taking these guys because Agent Bill is what they really need to be worried about. What are you doing? Bit we're supposed to be recovering from the previous attack. I think Lilo and Stitch are still out there, alive. Me and Ryan are going to go after them. Bit we're supposed to be recovering from the previous attack. Besides, they might already be dead, so I don't think it really matters anymore. Well, whatever you say. I wouldn't be surprised if you found them dead. Mick is in charge until we get back. Me. Why would I be a good boss? Why bother leaving the area? I agree with Kevin. I don't think they're alive. One day by now they would most likely be dead. Mick, if anything happens or if you need to ask me something, do not hesitate to call me. We have very limited resources. You know what? Fine. Chase better help me though, because I'm not in the mood to screw around. Goodbye. I honestly won't be surprised either. Hey everyone, I see aliens in the sky, we can't let them see us. What are we gonna do now? Dump the car and lay low for a while. We just need a temporary hideout. Where's your grip? My house? We can't go there. Let me guess, your house is destroyed. What are we gonna do now? Dump the car and lay low for a while. We just need a temporary hideout. 
Sadly, I don't see anything ahead of us. Uh-oh, plot twist. Take you both down once and for all. Additionally, claim all the experiments you stole. You even stole 625 back in that cave, which I will kill you for that. Aliens destroy them. Destroy those criminals. Aliens destroy them. Destroy those criminals. Say goodnight little girl. What the heck? Wait, what? What? Where did they go? Man Dr. Hamster Vale will kill me someday. Ow. Oh. It hurts. My hips hurt. Nani and David are gone. I don't know if they're still alive or not. And Hawaii is being attacked by aliens. Almost my entire family is gone. Figures everything's going wrong. Huh? Well, except your cousins, Kate. Don't get me wrong, Stitch. I love having you for a friend. I love you for anyway, but I just want to... Families... Oh, what the heck? I don't have... Dr. Hamstervale, I need to tell you something. More of the experiments are being chased by Lilo and Stitch. What? And you're here not doing anything? Don't worry, Gantu is currently getting that taken care of. It's All right. He better do good, because I'm beginning to turn very violent and nobody is so far liking me this way.
Did I miss something? Don't even try. I will take you both down before you even move. Stitches a killer, stitches a killer, stitches a killer, stitches a killer. Please calm down, and I can't get these morons to shut up. I know right? Gosh, my ears are ringing right now. Ugh. You think we're gonna win this chase? At this point, I really doubt it. We lost so many people in the previous attack. Dude. 45 people were killed as soon as the attack began. Ryan, I've noticed something when the previous attack occurred. A lot of the men died in terrible ways, but guess who were the only men, who were wandering around the base while everyone was shooting at each other, which they were standing alive. The agents? That's right. However, almost all of the agents got hurt but only one remained scarless. That guy was Agent Bill. Agent Bill? You know, Agent Jones contacted me today, saying that he and some other agents were noticing some strange things from Agent Bill. In other words, he's been acting very strange. You're right. You know, didn't Bill go to Nebraska to visit his family for the summer? How is he back in a short period of time? You know, at first, I believe that Stitch, the blue alien, destroyed them all. But I forgave him and was willing to not terminate him. But now, I'm actually beginning to wonder if Stitch really destroyed them all. I'm actually beginning to think that this whole mall thing is a joke. You know, I'm actually starting to see some strange things too. I overheard Kevin and Bill talking to each other, 
moments before the military attack happened. Dude, Agent Bill would never threaten us with a gun. He would never say that to anyone. You know what, Ryan, stop at Agent Bill's house. I'm going to ask some questions because I have a feeling we are being fooled. Sorry Stitch, it's likely we'll be walking for at least a few more hours because none of this is looking familiar and I don't see any safe places we can rest. Alright Lilo, I'll continue walking. What the? So Lalo got taken away? I'm so sorry. Don't give up though. Even if you didn't destroy them all, you still should defeat Dr. Hamster. They laughter all you and Lalo done. Whether you destroyed them all or not, you should defeat the aliens and save Lalo. Doing both of these actions can result in everyone forgiving you for all the bad deeds you've done in the past. Besides, it would be the right thing to do. You love Lalo so much. Which shows her you're not a monster even if you did destroy that mall. But now you have to prove to her again that you still care about her. Then, Stitch not monster? Nope. Well, if you do it, will you make things right and save Hawaii? You've gone this far, might as well defeat the aliens. Go on. You can do it. I know you can. I could. Good luck. I'm not afraid of the shadows It's not like I've never been there before I won't back down from this battle No, I won't run anymore No, I won't run anymore I would fight a ghost despite my tears 
I would take back seat for 30 years now it's my turn to be the hero now it's my turn to be the hero I've never lived in the spotlight they've never chanted my name before it's your turn to be frightened Run Alright Lilo, now that you are here in the Stark room, I'm going to explain to you what is about to happen. I saw Stitch attacking it, so that means Stitch is dangerous to humans. Don't you think you made a pretty bad decision staying with him instead of coming with me to safety? Maybe you... Like there's any protection around this state that's going down. Lilo. Agent Bill is super smart and he doesn't come up with any crap like this until the truth is revealed entirely. If I was Agent Bill, why would I just come up with the theory that Stitch destroyed them all if all I have for evidence is Stitch going inside the store where the explosion occurs and then coming out with a weapon and hiding it quickly? That does sound like he did it right. That still can't possibly explain everything that happened in there, right? Well, Lilo, what do you think? Why would Agent Bill do this if he doesn't have full evidence that Stitch destroyed them all? If Agent Bill was so smart because he's a member of the CIA, why would be this stupid to come up with something that isn't true? If I was Agent Bill, I would be here saying to myself, why am I wasting my time here? Lilo. I'm not Agent Bill. It's about time I reveal my real self. Yeah that's right. I planned all of this. I planned all of this to terminate Stitch. And you. And everyone that remains in Hawaii, because why not? The reason why they are. Hamster Vale is destroying Hawaii and is taking all 625 experiments Cab did to turn them from good to bad is to destroy the entire world and this planet. So far, working because I now got you and I got some other aliens on the loose trying to get him. Additionally, everyone believes Stitch destroyed them all and thinks he's a terrorist. Here's how it really happened. I saw every bit of it. I actually went easy on him. Because I wasn't really a powerful one like I am now at that time because I was created on that day. We then began. Gansh will kinda actually plan this part and help me plan the rest. We then began to shoot at each other and then I think you can figure it out from here. Anyways. As time went on after the mall's fate, I began to become stronger and stronger. Seven. 
Moments after the mall's fate, I learned how to disguise myself into other people. And if you thought Experiment 6, 2, 5 and Gansha weren't working for Hamsterval. Anymore, you're right, but then Hamsterval threatened both of them with a Terminator, and told them to help him and the rest of us out or else he would terminate them. Now that you are here with me, I'll do my part of the conspiracy and kill you. Good night, little girl. Lilo, you hide, and I'll distract him. Where is she? Hey Agent Faker, I won't let you hurt her. You have made a big line. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Alright, you stay here and keep on a lookout for Lilo and Stitch while I check out what Agent Bill is up to. Alright Lilo, where are you? Show yourself now. Alright Lilo, where are you? Show yourself now. Get over here. Get over here. All right. All right. This is getting interesting and there is a confirmed shooter in the building. And that shooter is me. I'm not Agent Bill. I was an alien the whole time. Now, prepare to. Bye. That's it. I'm going in. That shooter will be dead. Holy cow, Agent Bill nearly killed me. Agent Dexter, are you okay? Ryan, Agent Bill is a monster. He shot me and I can't get up. Agent Bill is an alien. Himself. Agent Bill, what's going on? Hey, take Dexter to a medical center because he's been shot. Hurry, I'll take care of Agent Bill. Alright Dexter, let's go. What the heck? Where's the car? I don't know. Maybe someone drove away with it. It was right here. Well, we'll just have to walk there instead until we find a car. Where are you killer? Maybe I'll check the basement. I'm searching everywhere. Okay Ryan, stay safe. Over and out. I'm so glad these walkie talkies still work. Agent Bill was an alien? Yeah. Wow, that's awful. Guess we should have seen that coming. That's what Ryan told me. I'm trying to contact the other agents, but they don't seem to like their walkie talkies with them and they're not on. Maybe Ryan and that other military man are fighting him right now. Who knows? Yeah, maybe that's why he's been gone for almost two days. Hopefully they get the message soon. I knew the whole mall thing and Stitch being the cause of this whole alien attack was a joke. As long as they don't have their walkie talk s with them, or if they're not on for some reason, they can't get the message. If they don't get the message, Stitch is still in danger. Dang it, the UFO is on that tree, which I can't reach. Well. There's only one thing left to do. Now that I've found this Terminator, let's kill this alien. Stitch? What is it? Shh. Oh, uh, hiding behind your little friend won't work anymore. I tell you, you must die. No. <laughs> Come on, let's make a deal. Oh, it's a twister. Let's play together again. 
Get back here, Lily. Get back here, Lily. Now, prepare to die. You big waste of fur. Stop shouting. I'm here now. You should have known this would happen considering all the crap you've put us through. Agent Bill. I don't know. I don't think we made it out of the building before it exploded. Will we got to continue to try to catch Stitch because he somehow is able to dodge our surges and make it here to kidnap Lilo? Wait, where's Agent Dexter? I don't think he made it out either. I don't know that either. Come on, we got to get going. Oh. Yeah. What if Myrtle's right? And 
everything I do is going to be stinky. Maybe I'm just stinky. Like cheese. Don't say cheese. You're right. There's no way I can do this. I'll never this entire island. Yeah, I'm just stinky. We're all gonna die. You you think I can do it? We do together. This is 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 this is